Okay, I'm I'm gonna put it on Twitter. So yes, you guys need to run me up because I'm we're getting ready to, now we're getting ready to delve deep. You know, we just scratched the surface. She so she told you guys about them doing pornos, which I'm sure nobody knew. You know, but there's some other things, and I'm I'm and then I'm gonna go back and reflect on some other things because we really didn't get to certain things that I do want to get to. But yeah, we just scratching the surface. So did I got a question really quick while they do their door deals, if they do it. If they don't do it, we're going to leave Elway and the instruments alone because maybe that's something that they're not interested in hearing. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, have you heard of anything about Aya prostituting when they were in Vegas? I don't know how to be no fucking prostitute, bro. I understand she don't know how, but do you were you under the any understanding at all that he put Aya out in Vegas to make some money? No. no. So you never heard of him prostituting Aya out in Vegas? No? no. Okay. All right. Okay. So I have another question for you. Um why Let's talk about Zoka and Solar's baby. Why was Nature Boy so mean? Why did he constantly keep calling the baby a demon? Because the baby was a demon. Okay, explain. It started with this because True Baby got True and Sheba got the same kind of eyes. So he ain't really sure if Jahumi could be his baby because he's brown like him. But he there it is. Repeat that again. It started with True having a baby by Sheba, and True and Sheba got the same shaped eyes. So Jaumi got eyes that could be from Sheba or from True. They kind of basically got the same shaped eyes if you look at them. And because mm -hmm. of this, that's the reason why True thinks it's his baby, and the tribe thinks that. But because he's brown like him then it's a possibility that if we took a DNA test, the job could be my baby, right? So when this shit happened with Zoka, she wasn't supposed to get pregnant, especially after Eferu wasn't supposed to get pregnant two times. Yeah, so because of so, all that, you know how he thinks, yeah, her baby was conceived in Babylon. Her baby is a demon. Okay, so baby Jaumi, whose baby, whose baby do they think, baby, who do they think baby Jaumi belongs to? Well, I don't know. I can't say what Sheba can uh, would say because Sheba ain't never had the freedom to talk to me freely. But I could tell you that Nature Boy mm. thing that if it ever came a time to take a motherfucking paternity test, he ain't ruled out that that would be his motherfucking uh, baby just because the color. Wow. Of skin. You watched Maury before. Come the fuck on. Right. You know? Okay. So what about um? So Zoka's baby, was there a chance that Zoka's baby was Nature Boy's baby as well? I don't think so. Because um Velvet was there. And um and that's really when Solar first got a first, first got the chance to actually be polygamous. And I think that baby was uh intentional intentional or from Solar. But you know they so dumb and they so ratchet how they get okay. down. That it's a possibility. He was they was both fucking her at the same time. Who the fuck am I to say? Okay. So we get from the first month, second month, third month, fourth month, and up to the days leading to the birth of the baby, what took place in the tribe? I told you said something about instruments. I oh, they was ordering the birthing equipment, and this is when Elway was telling she wasn't telling me, but the way she was talking and the way she was gifting him and not coming up on his panel was making me feel like Elway didn't really want to go over there and uh, deliver the baby because if Elway did not want to be more than a virtual member, she would have went over there. And that's what Correct. I was. So this is how seven came in. Where that? Hold on, hold on. This ain't nothing but some organic deodorant for this little bitch who acting like she fundamentally a fucking doula, bitch. And yo, I ball. Cause where did you come in at? Uh, 
at least Elway Grim Reaper asked, then deliver babies, then uh, buried bodies and did autopsies. She knows how the anatomy and how babies come out. And now you got uh, Seven, who lived by 7-Eleven, coming in, doing a doula. Do you really think you can learn anything on the fucking internet, bitch? You think you about to go pull my tooth out and you a dentist from the internet, bitch? No, you not. Get out of my face with your degree. I'll kick you in your face. What? That's seven. You a murderer, seven. You know what they didn't get? And I'm going to tell it. I don't give a fuck who here. They didn't know how to, to clip that cord. And that baby just bled out for no fucking reason. No what? Anyway, that that's why I call her the Grim Reaper. And that's why we fell out. I threatened Elway. I threatened her. I threatened her. I threatened her. I threatened her until she made Nature Boy call me and say, uh, you need to erase Elway's uh, phone number out your phone. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So what you're saying to me is that the baby bled out because they didn't have the proper equipment to clip the, the umbilical cord. But they had everything else. Oh, well. Fox 5, can you mute? We can hear your TV. I even told Elway. You might have did it on purpose. It might not even have been no accident, bitch. I'm not no, oh, she, mother, caring, nature. It probably was an accident. No, bitch. You probably did it for nature, boy. That's why I say, if you won't say what you really are, what we really are, we all need to go to jail, the type of people that we are. We all some motherfucking predators. Some of them is in this chat. Oh, wow. They try to disguise it and make it look like it's because your motherfucking Jupiter Leo in the eighth house is making you say this shit. What? Wow. Okay, so um, Immortal Morals, can you cam up, please, baby? We're, while we're on the panel, please? Thank you. Okay, so once that happened, can you I'm take sorry. me through... I'm on an oxygen machine, so I'll just I'll drop down. I don't want no one to see me on this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, baby, you can come up when you get ready to ask ask your question. Okay. 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 Okay, baby. Okay. So I okay. So can you take us through Tribe Zulu? Mute yourself really quick. Mute yourself really quick. We're gonna get into you first. We're gonna get into you next. But let me finish this out. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um. Pop down, please. Black Lotus, drop down, baby. Let me lock this box because they, I don't know. Uh -uh. This is what we're not doing today. Hold on, you guys. That box should have been locked. It, I locked it and it unlocked. Give me the key. I'm going to stick it in my Okay, pocket. I got it. Oh, Lord. Okay, so can you please walk us through the birth of baby love? Walk us through what you know of baby. Walk us through from the time she went to labor to what happened, to who got the call, to who was over the phone, guidance seven, all that. Can you please walk us through that? There wasn't nobody on the phone. Elway did not guide them. Elway was MIA, not to incriminate herself with that shit. Once you seen a seven touchdown, from that point on, when that bitch stepped off that plane, that was in her hands. Yeah, so you, you, Elway, you a part of it. You can speak, but uh, seven, you too. Because you only learned it on the internet. So really you wasn't qualified. None of y'all knew what to do. None of none of y'all and because of guilt, what what y'all what y'all gonna do with a baby that done bled out? Okay, so can you walk us through what you know? What what did Nature Boy explain to you like what happened? Did he say she went to labor and the baby was breached or what? Like can we get some she didn't she didn't even know that she was in labor because they was doing the video all that day. She didn't even know she was in labor. You got to think that she's a little kid and they fucking idiots. So just it wasn't. having stomach pains and doing a video out on the beach and waking up early and all that, that wasn't even no distress call, you know, to them, even though right. she's ready to pop. Stupid. Right. Okay. So I have something to say. B, I, I don't never even deal with the comments while I am um, interviewing, but because this is such a touchy subject, I'm sorry, because this is upsetting me. Anything to do with babies and passing away, it upsets me. 
Um, it takes a while to burn a body. Please Google that before you open your mouth and, and you know, say things of that nature. There was they no baby's fire. In, they telling you about his fixation with the Orisha, with Mama Wati, with the water, with the Orisha okay. and the water. He almost killed Malia, hiking her down that trail. That the the, the baby's did. not in fire. The baby is in water. Come on, boys and girls, put your fucking thinking caps on. What the fuck? Okay. What the fuck would I be in Puerto Rico? Ain't this an island? Okay. So the baby, there was no. They did not burn the baby's body. Okay. So let's start there. I need her. A different story. Though. So Solar, Solar told me that they planted the uh, some grass in those red Dixie cups that Aya had on the porch, and they went up there, up on by the top of the 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 uh, the the most sacred. He said the most celestial part of the trail. And they buried the baby there and they put those fucking grass on top of the dirt so it wouldn't look like it was an empty space there. That's what Solar told me. Completely different story. And this ain't the kind of shit where you can snitch on Solar and ask Nature Boy or even not even trust what Solar is saying. Because even before they announced it, when people kept was threatening the uh, where is the baby at, Solar, me and Solar had already started talking about it. Cause you know we talk in rhythms, and what he was telling me was the baby was already transitioned, and so from talking to Elway, and then how scared uh, Nature Boy was, it, it I really believe oh, that wow. the water at the time I did, and I feel guilty. I feel like I knew something that I shouldn't know, but that's kind of how it is being around him, p people that's in the cold, you know. Because you guys had a bond at this point in time. Okay, so basically what you're telling us, let me sum it all up because it's it, to me it's a little scattered and I want to sum it up. Um, basically what you're telling us is that um, the baby was, she went to labor, the baby was born. Um, while the baby was born, um, they didn't have the proper tools to to, to to tie the umbilical cord or cut the umbilical cord. The baby bled out, passed away, and they took the baby. Did they wrap the baby up in anything? Fast. Real fast. Like, when this okay. happens, this happened real fast. Like, 20 people, 10 people, 9 people running around no. on Google trying to... uh. Ask Google, ask Siri, ask some motherfucking body because Elway MIA seven over there pissing on herself in a fucking corner like a dog, and she what? work. And but I say, even though you believed her though, yo, you could have had one of the smartest people in the world right here with you get a certificate online. You you didn't think that when Sheepa baby wouldn't come, you didn't let motherfucking uh somebody fly in when uh and this is what I'm telling him. I said even brother polite second wife baby brother polite thought he was the smartest man in the world uh Baba G and his baby died right in New York City right where you was son and that's how I talked to him. He was like he did yes. Girl, I never had another baby after that. It's probably a Can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you think any of that is on those hard drives? Do you think they recorded any of it? What would what, what why wouldn't he record that? Why wouldn't he record the first birth? Did, did you see the fucking lotus of little Migo? He he said put Migo on camera. So you think love wasn't about to go on camera? He recorded it. That's what I thought. Okay, so um, the baby was not sacrificed in that way. It, the baby was born. The, there was nothing wrong with the baby when the baby came out. But because they didn't know how to properly tie the umbilical cord and cut it, because they didn't have the proper tools, the baby bled out. So the baby died. Yes, accidentally. And so when the baby died, they wrapped the baby up. They planted, I don't know, when did they have time to plant the seeds in Dixie Cups if the baby died and they had to hurry up and bury it? Look at the, look at the motherfucking, this is what Solar told me. Don't debunk his story. Oh. Don't debunk his story. Okay, don't I'm not debunking it, I'm asking a question. No, when somebody tell you something like that, you don't pull the pieces out. When Baba G get to asking you about Mama Wati, you get to learning about the Orisha of the water. And you get to telling them about uh, rituals. That's what you do. You be useful and have okay. information. 
so you could stay in the loop. Okay, Sorry. I feel you. I feel you. Hold, hold on a minute. And hold on, Daniel. What, excuse me. Go ahead, Daniel. You have a question? Yeah, my devices went crazy a second ago, and I didn't hear like shit. Did y'all say? If I it's okay. Ask. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Okay. All right. So so they buried the baby up there on the most celestial part of the mountain. And how soon after did they leave Puerto Rico? Because I noticed Baba G left Puerto Rico like boom. Wait, no, wait a minute. Really, they did not leave Puerto Rico until Aya kept getting in trouble by the police, and that was just recently. They didn't leave Puerto Rico because of love. Love wasn't no, you know, love. It wasn't I'm talking. No reason. That's, why I don't, that's why I don't believe Solar. Solar didn't lie to my face. So Lord and lie to my he lied to the to the, the, the dude's face up there because you thought that nigga was playing. You thought that nigga wanted to do that shit nature boy do. That nigga said, put your whole hand in there. So Lord said, Oh, oh I ain't never did that before. Who you call so Lord? Okay. Who you call? Who you call so Lord? Yeah. I wasn't even that far away. Who you call so Lord? Okay. I couldn't even do it. Okay. Okay, so back to what we were talking about. Okay, so the baby so then None of them were scared that the police may come to look or anything. They were okay with burying the baby on the mountain. I think the baby went to the water. I think the the mountain is the last solar told. I think the oh, you think the mountain is the water? So you think they put the baby in the water and let let it float away? I think. Oh my God! And maybe didn't maybe tie something to him so where he just wouldn't flow away easily. You know, like in a ritual. He, he, like like yeah. when I studied Mama YT at the time, it was saying take stuff to the water in baskets, stuff that she likes, stuff that would be offerings to the gods. I remember you know, that. Tobacco, maybe some gin, maybe some uh uh banana peels maybe some you want to put in here for love maybe this is this is the so when after they did this you know to him it's over with so then y'all seeing her come on like the program like yeah this is what happened bam 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 you like wait wait a minute they seem like this yeah it was a ritual and when the ritual is over it's done it's a wrap mm. okay so Irregardless, not irregardless, because it's not irregardless, but yeah. So, with the baby, so after the baby's death, I noticed that um, she was really depressed. Solar was really depressed. Solar talked, you know, about it a little here, a little there, but I noticed that when, and this is a question to you, when Zoka went to wanted to talk about it, Baba G kept over talking her. Why was that? Because she's a Scorpio and she's going she might slip up and say something out of emotions instead of saying something that she done got practice and rehearsed a hundred times to say. Everybody in here could say this, Zoka, but only you have to say it right now. But you the only one is woman that got a small she ain't even a small Scorpio placement in your chart that will make you Come from your gut and just spit out the truth right on it. So he knows she got that. So you got to just really, really get it. I mean, a pen and paper on your hand, what this motherfucker gonna say. And you better be blocking her and you better have this shit like a Tyler Perry movie to keep her from fucking talking because you know she might say something. That's why. I mean, she looked at, look at her. She was bits and fucking shreds to pieces. We all was. So this is a story that you got this is the story that you got from um, Solar about the baby. So basically, there were several different stories about and the baby so, passing away, but we do Solar know that the baby's not here. Solar told me this story right here in this house, right here in this bed. And Solar, and I did not believe him. But I did. I was happy that he did at least care enough to make up a lie to tell me because at least he was talking and not being quiet. So I have a question. You said Solar told you that right there in that house in that bed. Were you and Solar having a sexual relationship? Yes. Have you seen his penis? No, I have not. Well, actually, I have. Let me stop lying. You sent me a picture of his penis. So, yes, I have seen it. He told me to uh, to open an OnlyFans page because he wanted to uh, make money on there. And Musa told me to ask 
uh, Marcellus, can he have some of the money? Because he heard that Marcellus made 30K. Mm. Okay, so you how long have you and Solar been in a romantic relationship? I would say virtually he fell in love with me when he told me about uh, mm -hmm. uh, love uh, passing away. And I told him about one of my kids that passed away. So, oh, so you guys bonded. Me and Zoka was, you know, she was like, you know, my little sister because, um, you know, she she is she got a fragment of herself that is like me, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. So Solar was coming down to L.A. to to get him some of you. No, he was coming down here to get money. Okay, so I have a question. He was coming down there to get money, but were you guys having any type of sexual relationship as far as having, did you guys have sex, oral sex, you know, the vaginal sex? Yes, I got herpes on my lips and on my pussy from fucking with Solar. Yeah, both. Oh, oh my. Yeah, you, you can still get herpes. Oh, using, using oh I know. You know oh, so y'all fucking oh y'all fucking. Don't play. Don't play with that big motherfucker when you let it out now. And he did give me permission to share the photos and the videos. So it won't. Yeah, because she did. You guys, <laughs> she did send me pictures. Yeah, with his permission. Signed on the line. And you know he'll be happy to talk to you about it. Um, And I do have Solar's personal number, so I can't call and ask him. This is nothing... <laughs> Yeah. You know, so let's talk about loyal really quick. Let's talk about loyal. Thank you. Let's. I want to change the the atmosphere a little bit. Let's talk about loyal. So loyal contacted you at what point? What point did loyal contact you? Before or after he stole them the hard drives and the money and the phone? Two days before. He contacted and you two days before he stole it. Yes, and Jax contacted me about five days before that. But anyway, to get back on track, yes, two days before he stole it. But I did talk to him before that <clears throat> when Solar started acting. Oh, hold on. Catch a live, catch a live on the Yeah, that she does. She just admitted that. She, and, uh, she admitted she has herpes. Yeah. I didn't have it before Solar now, but now I do. Yes, that shit ain't no joke neither. It's real. Okay. okay. Yeah, don't laugh. Yeah. Mm. Right. Okay, so let's go into loyal. Let's get into the tea about loyal, y'all. So loyal loyal contacted you two days before he stole the stuff? Yeah, acting weird, though. Okay. Like, what was when, Solar, when Solar had came out here, uh, Solar acted weird here, and I called Baba G phone, and lo it was loyal. Loyal hung up. Then when this shit was with Solar just left and went to the park in Atlanta before he just left this time, I called Baba G phone again for some reason and loyal tell answer the phone like a little fucking uh, mermaid that he is and said, Who is this? It's Fifi nigga. Where's Solar at? Get Solar the phone. He took the phone and gave it to Solar. So now all of a sudden Wait a minute. Skirt Wait a minute. This is before so I have to cut you off, and I'm sorry, you guys. I know you guys ain't want to do that, but this is before Solar left. Yes, yes. yes. Solar's been gone longer than two days. When Solar came, was supposed to be in Vegas when he came out here. Solar was acting weird, so Solar went back. When Solar went back, okay. I called him, but Solar phone was doing something crazy, and it ain't no Google Voice number. He got a real phone, so it just made me call by the phone, right? And 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 uh, since he's in jail, our new lawyer gonna answer the phone and say, "Hey, let me speak to Solar. I know he's back there, right?" So he gives Solar mm. the phone. So now, two days before this little punk ass nigga steal the motherfucking money, he must have sent out a mass text message to everybody. I know he couldn't have thought that he was sending it to me. He gonna say, "Did you send us money?" Uh, because before you must have been speaking to somebody else with prior communication. Bitch, nigga, who the fuck do you think you talking to? No yerd, mm -hmm. no peace reflection, no 333. Who the fuck you think you talking to? Like, nigga, you pimping out here and you running money, running bitches, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? 
I even threatened him. I said, if we was in person, loyal, i knock your fucking ass out, nigga. You a little bitch. Who you I got, I'm poor folks on Twitter, too. All the fucking, ma two days later, I said, now I see what that, you fucked up when you send me that motherfucking message, nigga. You fucked up when you send mm. me, because you sent it to all his uh, cash apps, all his people, and you just sent it to him. Like, what right. the fuck are you talking about? That's when I what went the message about say? that. About Solar, about Jax, about all y'all cash apps, you know, fool gazy ass niggas. He didn't say shit else after that because it probably was an accident. Loyal got respect for me because I helped him and Ra. When Ra people was treating her like a slave, had her up in the attic like Helen Keller, and you were rich people in Canada, and you wasn't even helping her, nigga. I came out the pocket and held Ra. They people had her mm -hmm. eating a boy egg every day, one egg. That's slavery, you bitch. Right. Okay, let me make an announcement. We will post the Twitter after the interview. The Twitter has not been posted yet. No. We will post the Twitter because I have to put three seats on Twitter and I have not done it yet. And I will do it after the interview. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Okay, so Loyal contacted you and then when, when did Jax contact you? And what did Jax say? He a little bitch. He, I contacted Jax contact all of them Jack said in the chart he said how long have you been rocking with us I said who the fuck do you think you talking to Jax this is fucking Fifi nigga what the fuck's wrong with you I got Saturn Virgo mm -hmm. in the ninth house nigga where you at damn mm -hmm. yes you said that cause I'm in San Francisco right now I've been here for two days yeah, my friend helped me get out here, helped me get a hotel room until May 5th. And I'm like, what? He like, yeah, I might need somewhere to go after May 5th. Mm -hmm. said, Jax, who phone number you got? He said, you know, we don't have each other's phone number. Do you have anybody's phone number? I said, nigga, you ain't got nobody's phone number who you was living with? No, we couldn't have each other's number. So I gave him Solar's number. I gave him Mutai's number. He didn't even have Baba G number. Goodness gracious. Mm. <laughs> that nigga wow. So he nigga, you ain't even got my number. Who you calling? <laughs> so he contacted you for the phone number and some money or a place to go once he um left from wherever he was at. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so who else has anybody else contacted you? Loyal contacted you. Did Loyal say anything about stealing those hard drives? No, he was just stealing money at that time. I already see what that was. Yeah. Mm. And I wonder what the people who he stole money from ain't saying, yeah, they probably feel stupid that they was giving money to Nature Boy and Loyal even stole it from them. They don't even want to say, yeah, my money got stole from Loyal, too. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so. By Loyal doing that, that was a sign that he wasn't getting out. And I said, you absolutely right. You correct. You know what it is. This is why I keep you away from me, yo. I said, this is exactly why I'm your fucking higher self, nigga. Because I, you oh. already see what it is but you seeing what it is and in there now you seeing now you seeing what I go through fucking with you nigga all the fucked up shit you do and I can see it playing out and now you only seeing it when lawyer run off with the money you know you ain't getting out of jail oh wow so are you still talking to Solar or are you guys still in communication no Solar going through something right now Solar going through something and no we not talking right now no, I, okay. even, I, I called him this morning because I already know that I don't give a fuck how many uh Goku, the golden mushrooms you eating down there. You go, you you highly stressed out and got anxiety just because it's the bond hearing too. This might be you about to go back into bondage if this nigga get out. Wow. Wow. So There's a spammer. Kick the spammer. There's a spammer. Can somebody kick the spammer? <laughs> 